This is Project Life 2022, and this is week 38. I think I'm about a week and a half, two weeks behind, but where I am um, in Nova Scotia, Hurricane Fiona hit pretty hard, and uh, we just came off being without power for four days. So sorry that this video is going to be a little later than normal uh, being uploaded, but I figured you would, you would all understand and sympathize. So I have done some journaling. I've got a couple little mistakes in here that I'm going to see if I can cover and um, journaled in two spots this week, which is a bit odd for me. And also, yeah, trying to use up some DIY cards. I covered this card over because it had a very not my theme uh saying on the middle of it, but I thought I would try to cover it and use it anyway because I like the stripes. So I pulled a couple of different things. This week I think it's probably going to be a pretty big focus on stickers. Last week I focused on die cuts and DIY things and I pulled a couple of tiny word stickers, some more. I don't know if I'm going to use these yet, these alphas uh, or this, but I thought I would pull them. And always with the little tiny icons, I grabbed my puffy hearts, my citrus twist puffy hearts. And I grabbed these because these colors are pretty close to what I've got going on. And then another citrus twist, sorry for the glare. I should probably just take these out of the packaging. And this one, I don't know if I'm gonna use any of these either, but I thought if nothing else, I've got some um, some more tiny words to choose from. So I am going to get embellishing and probably see what's missing. I don't have a whole lot of journaling that I'm going to need to do on labels on this because the journaling is already here. So yeah, I'm going to get going and we'll see where we get to. I will be back. So I won't regale you with tales of woe and sadness from our four days of having no power. Um, and my heart goes out to the people of Newfoundland and Cape Breton because they got Hurricane Fiona the hardest. We got off pretty lucky here. Not as much damage. And uh, yeah, four days without power when the weather is still good and the temperatures are still mild is pretty easy living compared to what my friends in some of the, some of the other Atlantic provinces and... Um, including PEI, are dealing with right now. So if you're watching and you live in any of those provinces, just know that we're all thinking of you. All right, so moving on to happier topics. Um, yeah, this spread ended up being some pretty non-traditional fall colors. Um, I mentioned that at the end of the video. So I'm thinking next video I'll probably try to use up my Allie Edwards stories by the month kit from 2021 for the month of September. I still have plenty of um, chipboard stickers and other little like tiny word stickers from those kits and I'm still working my way through them. Most of the four by six cards I actually ended up using in 2021. So a lot of the cards that I have left are now like the extra three by four cards and like I said a lot of the embellishments. So it's kind of nice to have those to fall back on when you want to do something a little bit more traditional. My issue with the Allie Edwards kits is, of course, that their Thanksgiving and our Thanksgiving are a month apart, and our seasons are also about a month apart. So for us, fall is pretty much now, and a lot of their fall embellishments don't start until later, but that's another issue. So I'm going to find something to stamp here and I need to figure out what I'm going to do here for my week 38 and what I'm going to stamp my dates on. So I will be right back. Let me know if um, 
you want to see me creating more um, tiny kits using up some old leftover kits from Citrus Twist or Allie Edwards. I'm sure I still have some of those things still floating around in my stash, but if that's something that interests you, I can always work on it. Where did I go? I, I disappeared in this part of the video, I guess. Um, yeah, so still, oh, there, I went to get my, my little labels for the uh, number 38 on my title card. I'm getting better with my typecast typewriter, as you can probably tell. Um, I have learned that you can't just use the return lever on the typewriter. You actually have to, well, I have to, uh, scroll down twice to make sure that my lines are lined up. So it's one of those things. If you're someone who's a perfectionist, as many scrapbookers probably are, um, it would be irritating and you'd probably want to use a computer, but there are always workarounds. Okay, so I grabbed this label, and that's what I'm going to use for my 38. Got to sit down to do this. Sorry, folks, this is a rather chatty video. You're having to put up with my voiceovers. Um, so I'm going to have to glue these down because the stick is actually gone from them. And that's what you just watched me do there. Okay, so I am back. I checked my dates because I'm awful at that. So I'm going to stamp the date. I'm thinking right there. Okay, so I've got one last stamp to do. I'm going to grab something and I'll be right back. I grabbed my Citrus Twist um, Fall Full Heart stamp. Uh, if you are someone who does Project Life and you're looking to invest in some uh, good quality stamps, Citrus Twist have got stamps for every season um, and just like everyday events. I would highly recommend if you're in the market for stamps, to check them out because most of my stamps are Citrus Twist that I use in my Project Life kind of everyday stamps. And then, of course, I have stamps for um, card making and all that jazz. But honestly, my Citrus Twist stamps probably get the most mileage. So I'm going to just go with that. It's not a perfect stamp. But that's okay. So I will be back when this is in a sheet protector. Week 38. All done. These are some pretty non-traditional fall colors. So um, I already printed off a couple of my pictures for this week. So I think I'll probably transition into more fall colors. All right, friends, that's it for me for today. As always, thanks for coming to hang out with me, and I will see you next video. Bye for now.